What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I am going to show you how to create a glass morphism weather card in Figma. First I am going to create a frame of width 564 pixels and height 496 pixels. Then I'm going to fill it with a color. The color code I will be using is hash 120E29. Next I'm going to use the rectangle shape to draw a rectangle of width 250 pixels and height 247 pixels. Let's align it to the center of the frame. Next I'm going to change the border radius to 10 pixels. After that go to the fill option. Select fill type to linear. Then change the fill direction from top left corner to bottom right corner. Next click on the color slider on the left and select white color. Then reduce the opacity to 11%. After that click on the color slider on the right and select white color then reduce the opacity to 5%. Then go to the stock option and select stroke fill type to linear. Then change fill direction from top left corner to bottom right corner. Keep the fill color as white then reduce the opacity to 45%. This will give a shiny glass look. Next I'm gonna copy an image from my folder. I'm gonna reduce the width and height to 74 pixels. After that I'm gonna move the image to the top of the card. Next I'm gonna use the text tool to create the temperature. I'm gonna change the font weight to bold, and font size to 48 pixels. Then I'm gonna add the location name and country name. I'm gonna change the font weight to regular, and font size to 18 pixels. After that I'm gonna add the temperature format. I'm using Celsius format here. Then group all the elements and align it to the center of the card. Use Ctrl plus G for grouping. Next click on the card and go to effects then select background blur. Change the blur value to 80. Now let's add some shapes to the background of the card to view the glass morphism effect. For that I'm gonna create an ellipse. After that I'm gonna fill it with a gradient. You can use any gradient of your preference. Then I will send it to the back of the card. There you have it guys. If you find this tutorial helpful please like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.